Panasonic yesterday made a very interesting revelation sharing insights into Tesla's 46 AD cell development. Kazuo Tadonovu, the CEO of Panasonic's energy division, recently shared some insights about the company's upcoming 46 AD batteries, which would be sold to longtime partner Tesla for the Model Y and probably other models. Tadonubo mentioned a number of key observations about the upcoming batteries, particularly on how the 46AD battery cells could effectively initiate change in the transportation sector. We have said that 46AD batteries are going to be more dense, give Tesla more range, and I said that this is going to change the transportation sector. We don't know how, but today Panasonic talks about that. Panasonic has been working on its own 46AD battery for about a year and a half now, and it has not been easy. According to the executive, the development of the new batteries has taken an immense amount of stamina. That was a quote, taken an immense amount of stamina. This was because creating 4680 batteries is not as simple as enlarging existing cells. Now, keep in mind, friends, that 4680, that means 46 over 80, but it's not as simple as enlarging the existing 2170 battery cells. Tadon Nubu noted that changing the entire shape of the cell took quote-unquote considerable nerve and that Panasonic quote didn't know how they would be received by Tesla. Thankfully for Panasonic, Tesla has reportedly acknowledged the Japanese company's work on its 4680 batteries. After all, Tesla is the buyer of these batteries, right? So Tesla needs to acknowledge Panasonic's works. Tesla has reportedly deemed Panasonic's 4680 battery cells viable as they meet the level of performance that the American electric vehicle maker is seeking. This is a good sign for Panasonic's 4680 battery program, considering that Tesla itself is also ramping the production of its in-house 4680 cells. Tesla's homegrown 4680 cells will likely see their initial deployment in the Made in Texas Model Y, which will be produced at Gigafactory Texas. So far, Tesla's 4680 production is limited to the company's pilot lane, uh, pilot line in Cato Road, close to its Fremont factory. And just it's, I think it's just across the street from Fremont factory. That's a facility that has the potential to ramp to 10 gigawatt hour per year, but it's still being improved today. With the company announcing last month that it had produced its 1 million 4680 battery cells in January. Tesla would likely need as many as 4680 batteries as it could get, considering the launch of upcoming vehicles such as the Cybertruck, Semi, and Roadster. Panasonic, for its part, has been sharing its battery partnership with Tesla with rivals such as LG Energy Solution and Contemporary Amperex Technology, or as better known as Cattle, both of which are extremely aggressive. Yet, despite the rising competition such as LG Energy Solution previously stating back in 2020 that it intends to be Tesla's primary battery supplier in the future, Panasonic believes that the quality and safety of its batteries would speak for themselves. According to Tadonobo, Panasonic's advantage in the market lies in its capability to use craftsmanship to maintain safety even while rising the performance of the battery. And after leading the development of the next generation cells, the executive noted that Panasonic would work very hard to retain its spot. We don't want to lose the Panasonic executive said. Overall, the executive explained that Panasonic's hard work in development 4680 batteries for clients like Tesla is due to the company's belief that the cells themselves have the potential to change the world of transport. If 4680 battery cells become successful, they would have a considerable impact in lowering the cost of electric vehicles and if this happens, electric vehicle adoption would likely increase because of the lower cost. We see them as a new path forward, Tadonobu said. Friends, how do you think 4680 batteries will change the transport? How do you think 4680 batteries 
new batteries will change Tesla's price, Tesla's performance, electric vehicle range. I would like to talk to you about that in the comment section below. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Today, I have some very interesting images to show you from Tesla Giga Texas. Thanks to our friend Joe Tok Tegmai, who always uh, chronicles Giga Texas's progress. Tesla Giga Texas Model Y stock has doubled to over 400 and more supercharging stalls are being installed at Giga Texas as well. So the latest flyover videos over the Tesla Giga Texas uh, or Giga Tex uh, Tesla Giga Austin plant recorded on March 9 revealed more than 430 made in Texas Tesla Model Y. By the way, friends, in the future, if you see Giga Texas and MIT, that means made in Texas. So we're seeing more than 430 made in Texas Tesla Model Ys on the Giga Texas property. That's over 200 more than on February 27, when we counted about 230. This is why I said they have doubled. It would suggest that the average increase in the number of cars in front of the Giga Texas plant is above 20 per day over the past 10 days. So is it safe to say Tesla has built at least 20 Tesla Model Y vehicles at Giga Texas and the production is ramping up? That's natural to say. We don't know whether it's the total of the net difference because some of the cars might be taken out already. But regardless of that, it's clearly an early ramp up phase at Tesla Giga Texas. Now, what we can notice is that basically all of the cars are black or blue. I like the black color. What about you, friends? The vast majority of made at Giga Texas Model Y appear to have 19 inch Gemini wheels associated with the entry level Model Y long range all wheel drive version. Some have different wheels, probably the 21 inch Uber Turbine wheels, which are associated with the performance version, uh, notes Mark Kane in Inside EVs. Now, he says, let's recall the manufacturer has not yet announced the versions of Model Y that will be produced at Gigafactory Austin, nor has it stated specs or prices besides confirming the use of 4680 type cylindrical battery cells and structured battery packs. By the way, if you are interested in the 4680 battery cell, uh, cylindrical battery cells used at Giga Texas, look at my yesterday's report. It's very important report because it looks like Tesla may have created a problem for itself. Now, there are several potential options for the made in Texas Tesla Model Y. First, long range all wheel drive, standard specs, but with 4680 cells. Second, performance, standard specs, but with 4680 cells. Third, third option is both versions, long range all wheel drive and performance, which will come standard specs, but with 4680 cells. And fifth, uh, actually, fourth, a completely new type or types of cars with significantly different specs. Why not? Tesla can do this at Giga Texas. Now, market launch of the made in Texas Tesla Model Y is expected this month, just like Giga Factory Berlin, which Tesla announced two days ago that will start deliveries in March 22nd. While on April 7, the company has scheduled the Giga Fest event, which might be attended by up to 15,000 people, according to the latest reports via Joe Techmeyer's video. To support the volume production, Tesla is installing more supercharging stalls at the Gigafactory Texas site. A new station with 12 new stalls is currently under construction in close proximity to the parking for the newly produced cars. Considering the ambitions and what we saw at Tesla Giga Shanghai plant, the company Tesla might soon build much larger charging stations with 100 plus 
stars. So what do you think, friends? Let me know your thoughts. Tesla Giga Factory, Austin um, in Texas now works started on July 17, 2020. 2,481 acres of land. Model Y launch is expected in quarter one, 2022. Like I said, maybe in March. And Cybertruck, that's you know, was supposed to be called Cybertruck Giga Factory, is in development, unveiled in late 2019. Production is expected to be in 2023 at least but for now the exciting news is that tesla giga texas at giga texas model y stock has doubled to over 400 compared to february 27 report this is armin harian from talknews.com let me know what you think about the start of giga texas production the ramp up the potential and so on have a wonderful day please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla coverage please share in social media i would greatly appreciate tweet it out and so on and let's move on to our next tesla story